Hello everyone, Cliff here <coughs> in the shed. It's uh, Good Friday. Ordinarily I'd probably be down the coast or doing the garden or something with my wife but um, all her leaves have been cancelled because she's a nurse so she's at work. So, and I can't go down the coast. <laughs> so anyway, <coughs> so I'm in the shed. And you find me in the germination stage of a new project. I've got this old wood lathe I've had kicking about for a long time. I bought this about 30 years ago. It was a cheap old thing when I bought it. It was a new tall lathe. But when it finally sort of gave up the ghost and I bought a better lathe, I kept the bits because it's got a pretty good spindle on it and I always thought that one day I would turn it into a buff or a grinder or something. But, um, anyway, so I've been thinking about trying to make a tool and cutter grinder. So I've got these. It's got a got a threaded nose and it's got a 1MT taper up the middle. Um, it was a bit carroty, I've got a ream and I have cleaned it out a bit but um, anyway, but I've got some of these, I bought two or three of them a while back. They're a, a 1MT shank and an MT a JT6 nose on them. So my plan was got a cup wheel and I've got this um, diamond wheel that's the cup wheel and the diamond wheel I only just bought the uh, cup wheel with this in mind but I've got about I think it's about two two and a half hour run out on there now my plan is to make some JT6 sleeves with these on them to just bosh onto here and thread them and screw them in you've got a nut here so that will push it out when you and whether I make one or make each wheel with one I don't know but I'm not sure if that run out there I don't think there's much I can do about that and it is about two and a half foul so my plan anyway if it does work out, I don't know whether that is going to be good enough, accurate enough to do what I want to do. But I've got this. This is another old bit of crap I had kicking about for a long time. Let me zoom you in. Uh, this is a cross and top slide off of a lathe of some description or another. I bought it with something else ages ago. It's got a lot of um, backlash. I did use it for a little while before I got my other compound table on the drill press. But I mean, it works all right. It's, it's, there's not a lot of play in the slides. It's just there is a lot of backlash in it. So my plan was to mount this on here somewhere with another little universal type joint on here, which I haven't quite figured out yet. Like I say, this is still in my brain and have a bit of that way and a bit of that way and try and make a cutter grinder out of this and then cut this down whatever to suit it when I get that far with it but I suppose so I need to know the height really to these these are both four inch wheels so I haven't got an awful lot of room to play with so I need to get this bit done first see how much height I've got here, what I can make for the swivel up here. That's a bit of a weighty bugger. I can, uh, I can take a little bit over here, I'm going to have to take a bit over here because it's, it's where it's been sitting about, it's got a bit rusty so I'll put that in the mill and skim it anyway. But the first thing to do is get a sleeve made for this and then see how accurate I can do that and see how it transfers back to here when I've got a wheel on it.
Right, now I've got to work on this the other way around. I've got this spindle that I made for something else that's got a 1MT <coughs> taper in it. And I'm just hoping I can get it all right on here without having to get the four jaw chuck out. Close enough to me. Right. Now I've got to hope that's on there enough and machine it. Alright, so my next move is to drill and tap this if I can for an 8mm bolt. But it is quite hard this, so uh, we'll see how I get on with that. Right, I need to make a washer now to go on there, to hold the uh, cup on there. So 
I'll do that on the ML7 so I don't have to interfere with this. I just want to see now how true this runs here and then try it in the uh, other end. I mean I don't know how true this this wheel was to start with but see that because it's about thirty five hundredths of a millimetre off. Like I say, I don't know how far off this wheel was to start with, so... I'll try moving that about, see if it makes any difference on... and see if that makes any difference. It's about 30, 40 hundredths of a millimetre off. This is about 25 foul off, but I think that a lot of that is in the wheel. I just want to see how this matches up when I get it on the other spindle. Right, well with the wheel mounted in here, it's about nine, ten thousandths out on the perimeter of the wheel, which 35 hundredths of a millimetre, ten foul-ish, somewhere about the same. So I actually think the wheel 
is a bit out of true. If I put it on the um, I'll put it on the arbor. That's reading about one and a half, two foul out, which it was out when I started. So the ten foul, I think, is the wheel that's out of true. On on this sort of wheel, it's not going to make a difference because I can dress that and get that running true. But I don't think I can dress these. I don't know. I don't know if there is anything you can do with these, so... Oh well, at least it gives me my item now to work with this and I can carry on and do something and I'll have to wait and see how it works when I get it finished. It's not ideal, I'd like this to have been running a bit truer than that, but um, perhaps I should buy a better quality wheel. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there for now. Um, get on and clean this other stuff up do a bit of work on it and see where I go with it. See you in the next one.